1049 The Morning X at 816. It's Lori and Kev. It's the Halloween show. On October 31st, what better day to do the Halloween show, right, Lori? Yeah, better than November 1st. And we're joined now by some very special guests. We have Jenny and Brandy from In the Dark Paranormal Investigations out of Belvedere. Is that right? Correct. And welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Yes, thanks for having us. Oh, uh, We were so excited about this because, look, when when I say I saw a ghost, that's not exactly accurate. Correct. Felt and heard is is more accurate. So I can't really say I saw anything. But I wouldn't just say that. Like, I don't, I'm not one of those people that just makes things up like that. No, you're definitely not. I promise you're not, Kev. Like, I wouldn't have gone this far with it if it was just a joke. By now, I would have revealed I was kidding. But I legitimately felt something. And uh, last week during the show, Jenny called up to actually give some input on that. And I said, guess what? You're coming in. Yeah. So that's why you are here today, and uh, we appreciate you coming in. So I want you guys to start off just by telling us a little bit about your group and uh, how you got started. Uh, we've been doing this for ever, but officially as a group, probably 10 years. And we just kind of go where we can go and set up equipment and do investigations. We've gone out to Waverly Hills. Um, where else? Mansfield. We've been out to Mansfield um, uh, Prison or State Penitentiary, which is where the movie Shawshank Redemption was filmed. Okay, so you, you got to meet some, uh, should I say, interesting people in, in your studies? Oh, no, they're all quite normal. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you, you look like you're being sarcastic, but you mean that. Oh, yeah, no, because they may be listening, so they're all normal. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be some people who are like, I swear my Uncle Charlie's here every day. You don't see him? <laughs> you do run across some, some things that, yeah, you just kind of go, oh, okay. That's nice. <laughs> Most of your calls are about ghosts then, right? It's, a, it's right. a ghost thing. It's a ghost thing. Have you ever run into a situation where you entered a place uh, you were called to look at, you entered, and you immediately felt like just in your own gut, oh yeah, there's something here? Sure. You get a, a sense that something's going on or there's something in the building. Like you sense a kind of a, a liveliness there. The hair on the back of your neck will stand up. You get the, the woogies. The woogies. <laughs> Are you getting that feeling while being inside of our studio or walking into the radio station building? No, that was called nerves. Oh, okay. Yeah. Little, little I nervous. could see how little those nervous. two could, could combine, yeah. you know, and not sure to separate. Them well, I'm them. sure you know by now after spending 10 minutes with us that we are definitely not intimidating. So, uh, we, no, we're, we're good. We appreciate good. you not being nervous anymore. So good. Hi, this is Brandy, and uh, I just wanted to comment on Jenny's woogies. <laughs> <laughs> when Jenny says I have the woogies, that means we get out the equipment and start to test and see what's going on. It's not always the woogies. So if you if you if you don't get the woogies, you don't even bother setting up. No, we still set up. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lori, have you ever had anything you would consider to be the woogies? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> 100%. I've had weird stuff happen that gave me the woogies. I definitely had the woogies in the kitchen. And, you know, to just reiterate the story, I was making a cup of coffee, and you or somebody I thought was entering the room, going to the mailboxes, mm -hmm. and uh, I even said hello. That's how sure I was somebody was in the room with me. Now, you mentioned something on the phone about EMFs. Can you explain what that is? EMFs are electron electromagnetic field. So it's something that occurs naturally. But around certain equipment, it can be higher. And we do have a lot of equipment in this building, and it gives it probably gives off a lot of that because we not only do we have uh, microphones, processors, mm -hmm. uh, broadcast boards, we have transmitters uh, that give off radio waves, and and so there's got to be a lot of juju going on. Cor yeah, and and it can affect what you feel, what you see. It can affect a lot of things mentally and physically. So who's the technical expert in the group? Here we go, Brandy. <laughs> Hands it off to Brandy. Actually, my son, Jimmy, is the tech expert, Jimmy and Cody, but they couldn't be with us this morning. Um, so I will try to answer the questions for you the best I can. So I mean, how do you get into like uh, st studying that? Is there are there classes you can take on it, or is it kind of like a thing where you learn it all on your own? Is it a learn-as-you-go situation? You know, a little bit of both. I mean, we have done some research and studying on our own, um, but also there's always the unexpected, and, and, and the paranormal never, has never been considered an exact science. Right. It's ever-changing, um, ever-evolving. There's new equipment all the time. If we had a 
TV show budget, we'd have the best of the best. <laughs> but sometimes right. you have to kind of come up with things. One of the newest things that we started doing that I really like is utilizing the camera inside of a Kinex from an Xbox. Now, that actually maps out figures, you know, so like if you're going to play a game. Right. So we did a recent investigation on Friday night, and we utilized this piece of equipment, and uh, we were picking up these stick figures that actually weren't there. What? So that was really great. It would map us where we were, but it would also map children as well as adult figures alongside of us. And if you go to the Facebook page, you'll see that. I just got goosebumps. Yeah, that's a little bit terrifying, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and I believe that was actually featured in a, in a movie, that one of the Paranormal Activity movies that came out. They had the kind of uh, Xbox Connect sort of thing, uh, that same concept. So I am, then I guess that was inspired by a real life investigation then. This just means when I get home, I have to disconnect, <laughs> unconnect everything from the Xbox and burn <laughs> it in the backyard because, nope, not touching that one. So, Jenny, who would you say is the most skeptical one in the group? The one who says, let's see if this is real, instead of saying, ooh, this could be real. I would probably say myself and Brandy's husband, Jim. Okay. No kidding. Mm-hmm. So you're the one who thinks, okay, it's got to be something with the wind. It's got to be, uh, you know. Glitch in a- the equipment. Mm-hmm. Something's going on. She ruins all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I think there should be a balance of uh, believer and skeptic. You know what I'm saying? To kind of uh, to make the group legit, there's got to be someone to set it up. And then there's like the control experiment, right? So right. Uh, you have to really have both best of both worlds, I think. So, I'm looking forward to getting in the kitchen and yeah. seeing if there's anything in there. Yeah, I think we might uh, move over to Facebook Live. Yeah, and, why don't we uh, do that? Have these uh, uh, nice investigators take a look at our ghost. That's awesome. Let's do this. Yeah, so so we'll go over to Facebook Live. Thank you, Jenny and Brandy from uh, In the Dark Paranormal Investigations from Belvedere. You're on Facebook, correct? Yes, we are. In is- the Dark Paranormal on Facebook. That's pretty easy to find. Yeah, yes. no kidding. I found it in two seconds. Yeah, and Lori can't do anything right. So uh, if she That's can find it, saying. anybody can. Anybody can. can. <laughs> <laughs> it's 104.9 The Morning Exit. It is the Halloween show, and that's very exciting for all of us. Happy Halloween. From the Morning X. Uh-huh. 104.9 The Morning X. Lori Cavett, 854. It is the Halloween show. We are back with uh, the fine folks from uh, In the Dark Paranormal Investigations out of Belvedere. Jenny and Brandy still here with us. Uh, th- thank you for being here once again. And listen, you were just in our kitchen. We had you on Facebook Live. You can uh, see the video right now at our Facebook page at the X Rockford. I'm still shaking. I'm not going to lie to you because that freaked me out. So we went in the kitchen. First thing you guys did was Jenny took uh, electromagnetic field readings. Right, EMF. Of, of the equipment in the kitchen. The equipment specifically mm-hmm. that I was standing next to right. when my incident occurred. Um, and what the initial, um, I guess, hypothesis was is that the electromagnetic waves got in my brain and made me see something. Right. Right. Because the microwave was going off like crazy, and the coffee maker gave off the highest reading, did it not? Right. Both the microwave and the coffee maker pinged the equipment. And I was standing closest to that stuff when uh, I thought I felt somebody come into the room. And they're right next to each other. So, I mean, I could see how those waves would kind of mess with your brain. So the, the, the electromagnetic field, in theory, could have made me think I was seeing or feeling or hearing something. Right. Okay. But then... And you'll see this in the video. I don't want to talk about it, Kevin. <laughs> Lori uh, took part in a little experiment. Now, what do you call the rods that were in that video? They were like uh, metal. What were they called? Those are dowsing rods. Dowsing rods. Dowsing rods. Now, what are those uh, designed to do? Those pick up on energy while you're holding them. Uh, they used to also be used to find water. No kidding. So they actually pick up on energy. As well as um, people buried underground. They could actually... <sighs> For somehow or other, they can tell the difference between where a head and feet were in a, in a body that was buried underground. Okay, well. out of I'm here. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Do so, the rest of the show by yourself. So Kat. Lori's holding the dowsing rods, and you ask uh, the presence of the room questions, and uh, kind of, le- uh, not. I don't want to say leading questions, because that's not the word I'm no, looking for. No, but you ask questions. Is there anyone here? And if you, so, move the right rod. Right, you give like a direction, that. specific directions, and... Uh, <laughs> Lori, those things were moving all over the place. I know. It turns out that it was a male, and it's a ghost of a DJ past. You can see these results happen uh, live. You can see them on our Facebook page right Freaky, now. Freaky, man. Uh, and this was pretty cool, actually. It was, it was a pretty cool, because I've never been uh, uh, 
there for any kind of investigation like that. I've always been interested in it, so it's been uh, really exciting to have you guys here. Uh, and uh, now it's like I want to get into it. Yeah, I do too. Like we should, could we like have a slumber party at the radio station and check this stuff out, or what? Now, does that tend to happen when you when you work with people? Like other people tend to get interested in it when you bring things along like that. Yeah, everybody wants to go with us, and then they get there and, and want to run screaming from the building. That'll be me. Our one rule has always been run and done. Run, run and, and done. done. So if you run, you don't do it again. That kind of thing. Yeah, right. Even you behind. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, oh. I've definitely been in places where I wanted to run, and uh, my friends weren't as cool with it. So, uh, you know, whatever. It's fine. We we have a ghost. Fine. That's the conclusion. Yeah. Yeah. I think you guys got something going on here. <gasps> the one last the one last thing I want to add is um, we don't want to dismiss because of the electromagnetic magnetic field because as many years as you've been doing this and standing in that kitchen and doing the same exact thing. You know, why Why did it change this one time? Great point. Why that sp- is a very good point. Why specifically once? Why that once? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. the ghost of DJ Past is in there. I also want to point out how when we were in the kitchen, uh, Brandy had a flashlight in her hand, and uh, whatever's in there slapped it right out, didn't it? it? scared the crap out of me. I jumped out of my skin. Poltergeist activity. <laughs> oh, man. This oh. is freaky. Uh, Jenny and Brandy, thank you so much. We're out of time. Uh, we have another guest coming in, but we appreciate you dropping by and uh, hanging out with us today. And uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, humoring us. Scaring us? <laughs> Scaring Lori and humoring us at the same time. Uh, I'm, I'm fascinated. I Me too. Truly We're going to have to get you in here again. Yeah. This is so cool. We'd be happy to come back anytime, and thank you so much for having us. We Aww, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. In the Dark Paranormal Investigation? You, yep. Correct. You can find them on Facebook, and we'll have the link up on ours. If you go see the Facebook Live video, it's tagged, so you can go right to their page and check out more of the cool stuff they've seen in the area. After 9 o'clock, we'll chat with Gary Hill writer of Spooky Rockford. He'll have a special guest with him as well. It's the Halloween show in the Morning X. Happy Halloween from the Morning X. 104.9 the Morning X at 9.08. It's Lori and Kevin, the Halloween show. And if you missed our Facebook live video, we were just on with paranormal investigators from Belvedere in the dark paranormal investigators. And they determined, and you can see this in the Facebook live video, that we have a ghost who is a male and possibly a former DJ of this station. And you say you have some insight on that idea? Yeah, your ghost uh, was killed in a motorcycle accident about 15 years ago. What? He was, a, he was a DJ at the X. There was a DJ at the X, got into a motorcycle accident and was killed? Yeah, about 15 years ago. 15 I can't remember years the guy's ago? name for the life of me, but uh, I, I used, to, used to call him and talk to him all the time. And one day I, I was talking to Ed Choppa and he was like, uh, you remember the Manic Hispanic? Yeah, of course. I love Ed. Great guy. Yeah, he was, he told me that he got killed in a motorcycle accident. I can't remember the guy's name for the life of me, but... Oh. Uh, if My you God! Research it a little bit. It was when Bob Ray owned the station. Wow. Holy crap! We're gonna have to look into that for sure. What's your name, man? My name's Will. Oh, what's his name? And Linda, we're doing the morning show. Pete and Linda. Pete and Pete Linda. Linda. Yeah. I wonder if we can get Pete on the phone. No, you know what? We can't get Pete on the phone because we tried to get Pete on the show for today to ask him about things like this, and he totally big timed us. Too big for us now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hey, man, thanks for the call. We appreciate it. Lori is uh, absolutely speechless right now. This might actually be real. 